In this video, we show you how to create a macOS Sequoia USB installer disk. So if you're a fan of no-nonsense tutorials and guides, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So first, we're going to download the macOS Sequoia installer, and it's really easy. We're going to use Terminal. You can find it in your Applications folder. And this is super easy and don't be intimidated. You just want to type software update space dash dash list dash full dash installers. And this is going to list all of the available installers for your Mac. And you can see here at the top, Mac OS 15 beta version 15.0. It gives you the build number, all that. So now we want to type in software update space dash dash fetch dash full dash installer space dash dash full dash installer dash version space and then the version number so in this case 15.0 yours could be different it could be 15.1 whatever the case may be press return it's going to scan for the installer and then you're going to see this message that says installing and i've sped this portion up this will take a while Basically what this is doing is it's going out to Apple servers and downloading the installer. Thus it depends on your internet connection. So that is what's happening right now. So install finished successfully. So this means that the install macOS 15 beta installer was successfully downloaded to the applications folder. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So now it's time to create the macOS Sequoia USB installer. So open up applications in the finder. And here we go. This is what I was talking about, the install macOS 15 beta installer. So you want to right click on the installer and select show package contents, then open up the contents folder and then open up the resources folder. Now you want to locate the create install media executable. Here it is right here. No need to click on it. But what we're going to do is back to our terminal. We're going to type sudo S U D O and then a space. Now we want to take the create install media and drag it directly to the terminal, just like that. And a space will automatically be inserted at the end. So now you want to type dash dash volume and then a space like that. Okay. So far so good. So now it's time to connect our USB drive. So we just insert it into our MacBook like this. And then more than likely you'll probably find a pop-up on your screen asking you to allow the accessory to connect. You can just click allow. Now click back onto your finder window, but this time we want to go up to the menu bar and select go. And then you want to look for a go to folder. So click on that. And in this box, you want to type forward slash volumes with a capital V just like this and then press return. So that will display all the connected volumes on your Mac. You want to identify your USB disc. This is my USB disc. There's nothing on it, but you definitely want to make sure there's nothing on it before you proceed. If there is, back it up. It's also a good idea to right click, select get info to see how the volume is formatted. So here I can see Mac OS extended journaled. And I can see also that I have enough capacity. You need at least 16 gigabytes of storage. But the most important thing is that it's formatted properly because if it's formatted as APFS, then you have to reformat the drive because you can't create an installer with an APFS formatted drive. So I'm going to open up disk utility here just to show you what you would do in that case. Chances are you're not going to have to worry about this, but here sand disk, you can see just click erase and there you can see the format. You don't want to choose APFS. You want to choose Mac OS extended journaled, but chances are your drive isn't formatted as APFS and you're not going to even have to go there. So the next step is to simply drag the volume directly to the terminal like that. And now your terminal should look like this. Now press return on your keyboard. Now you want to type in your administrator password for your Mac. And it's going to ask you if you're ready to start. So you want to type Y for yes, and then press return. Now it's going to erase the disk. It's going to copy essential files. It's going to copy the Mac OS recovery OS etc. This will take a while. I've sped it up just so you're not waiting a long time. All right. So it's copying to disk 10%, 20%, 30%, 40% and so on. So just be patient because this will take a while. So while we're waiting, it's a good opportunity for me to ask you to like this video if you appreciate it, because that helps other people realize that it's legit and genuinely helpful. Thank you so much. So now we are almost done. So install media now available on volume slash install macOS 15 beta. 
Eureka, we've done it. So now just minimize your terminal, open up your finder window, and in your volumes, you should see the newly named install macOS 15 beta volume. That is your USB installer. Double click on it and you can see install macOS 15 beta. So you can now use this disc to install macOS 15 on other Macs with ease. Stay tuned because in a future video, I'm going to show you the best way to go about doing this. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you had no problems with that, but if you do, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you out. And if you appreciate this video, you're probably going to like these videos too. This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac.